This video will show you how to associate Google Scholar with University of Toledo Library Holdings to enable full text access. The first step in this process is to go to Google Scholar, which is scholar.google.com. Once there, we need to modify the settings. The settings option is available from the home page, but is also available from the search results page. So here is a typical search result page. You can see that while I'm getting a lot of full text, there are many wonderful sounding articles like a multidisciplinary approach to the adolescent bariatric surgical patient that have no full text option. If I clicked on the full text of this article title, very likely I would be taken to the publisher's website and the publisher would ask me for some sort of fee to view that article. To try to avoid having to pay um, individual article fees for articles, I'm going to associate this result list with the University of Toledo's collection. So I'm going to access the settings feature. From the results screen, I will need to arrow down and check settings. Within the settings interface, library links is the third option on the left. From the library links page, I will enter the University of Toledo. And once I run that search, I come up with four options. Please select them all, including OhioLink, our statewide library cooperative that enables a lot of our full text access. I'm going to save those preferences and be routed back to my results screen. Now you can see that I have the powerful Find It at UT links that will enable um, our systems to either locate full text or give you the option to request the full text through interlibrary loan. So for example, um, for this article, I'm still not going to click on that title, but I am going to select the Find It at UT link. And here's my box that's um, going to let me know that we have full text access to this title um, through a couple of providers. And here is where I would, um, if I could not find full text, here's where I could link into our other options such as interlibrary loan. But one more click to get to the full text. And there is my publisher interface with my option to download the full text PDF for free. If I were doing this off campus, um, I would be asked to authenticate with my um, name and my rocket number. Going back to the Google Scholar page, these um, Find It at UT links should appear whenever you're on campus because we have associated our IT range with Google. Um, off campus, you will have to go through that settings procedure for every device, laptop, or PC that you use. Once you do that once, however, it is saved as a cookie on that device and should appear consistently. If you tend to use different computers all the time in different places, you may want to create a Google account and sign in each time that you use Google Scholar. The library links will automatically associate with a Google signed in account. If you have any questions about um, getting to full text or any questions for us here at the UT Libraries, we'd be happy to hear from you. Thank you.